because that's um, uh, that's representing me while the boys set the car up. Um, I should point out, although there's quite a few of them, there's one less than there was at the start of the season, so I'm quite proud of that. Um, so in terms of the actual car itself, you can see we've got three clutch pedals and, uh, and a gearbox, but the gearbox is sequential, so it's got a, a dog engagement, and uh, once you only use the clutch to, to pull away, and then after that you just, it's a, a pull for an upshift and a push for a downshift, and, uh, and it just bangs itself into the next gear. So um, once you're up and running though, we've got uh, brake bias adjustment here and here, and uh, this is to, to adjust the, the bias of the pedal, which is the, the steady state bias, and the blow off valve is to, to shift the bias through the kind of the higher effort brake applied. So um, you can see we've got uh, the ballast box down there, don't get to use that unfortunately very often, either through my weight or the fact that uh, we're never in the top 10. But um, the, uh, the battery box over there, uh, fire extinguisher and the fuel tank is in the back, inside the roll cage for safety. Um, in terms of the switch panel here, it's all um, solid state uh, relays, so uh, there's no uh, fuses or anything like that. It's all done with an electronic circuit. Um, and you can see, I mean, we've got indicators, lights, uh, ignition, uh, windscreen wipers, and uh, blower fans and things like that, but that's, that's about it, really. Um, on the wheel, the wheel's quite interesting. Um, so it's obviously not as complicated as the Formula One wheel, but there's a few different things that we get on there. Um, obviously radio, hit limiter, uh, driver buttons just to scroll through the screen. Uh, we have um, four maps on the ignition and uh, on, the, uh, on the ECU. Uh, the first two are the driving maps, the racing maps. The first is for the dry and the second is for the wet. And the only difference between the two is that uh, the wet map's a bit more progressive just to help you feed in the throttle a bit more gradually. Uh, the third map is uh, to pull the car down on the inlap. And the fourth map is the idle uh, cool down map where you can hear the cars in the pit lane going bap, 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 and it's just chucking fuel through the turbo to cool it down. And uh, so we can, it doesn't overheat the engine through heat soak. Um, the, these two are quite interesting. It's the push to pass and the brake button. It's not really push to pass. All it is is a, um, a throttle and a rev limiter that we use to, to start the car. So uh, the procedure is the brake button locks the rear brake circuit. So my procedure to start is I stand on the brake, I hold the brake button, that holds the car in brace. I, uh, I push the, the, uh, the green button, put my foot uh, flat on the accelerator. It builds up to the revs, which is where you can hear all the cars crackling on the grid. Um, I lift the clutch up to load the car against the brakes and then as soon as the lights go out, I release the, the brake button and the car shoots off perfect with only a little bit of wheel spin. And uh, it's quite, uh, I mean, it's usually, yeah, if it's tricky conditions, it's the best way to start the car. But um, uh, sometimes, you know, if it's particularly hot or particularly grippy, actually you can do a better job of, of launching it yourself without the, uh, the button, just to give it more revs. But, uh, and then all you've got there is the flashing button, so you can be an annoying Le Mans style driver and uh, keep flashing people down the straight. So, uh, in terms of the dash, um, we get, uh, I won't switch it on at the moment because the boys are working on the car. We get the, um, the gear shift, uh, the revs, uh, lap times, and uh, the important engine data like the, uh, the oil temperature and the water temperature, just so we can keep an eye on things, but it will come up with any more information that we need during the race if there's a problem with it, if something's got too hot, something's stopped working, then uh, or the voltage has got too low, if there's an alternator failure or something like that, so that I can, I can read it and report to the team and decide whether we're gonna continue or not. That's about it really, that's the, 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 the content of the BTCC car.